What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I apologize, I haven't been posting as often as I usually have. I decided to take a little break. Also, as you can see here, everything has been cleared out. Uh, since the last time I posted a video, I showed some, uh, I, can't, I actually can't remember what I showed, but it's now July 5th. Yesterday was July 4th. I hope everybody in the United States is having an amazing weekend. Hopefully you had Friday off, so you're really enjoying the three day weekend. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Michael. I'm an indoor hydroponic gardener. I, uh, I, I primarily focus on a lot of variations of lettuce, also some herbs, but we are here and we're going to start a brand new grow. I'm gonna be growing everything across these three reservoirs as well as probably going down below and going, uh, and I'm gonna be situating three additional reservoirs below. So everything is all clean. This was literally, it took me quite a while to clean everything. There's been a, uh, in the last uh, month or so, I just haven't had a really uh, a desire or energy to, to tackle my hobby. And that is indoor hydroponics with work, with a child who's now 10 months and she's amazing. Uh, it's a lot of daddy duty. And I just haven't had, my passion was just kind of, it, it, the, the focus has been, diverted but I'm trying to realign and make a little additional uh, room for what I really love and one of my hobbies is of course hydroponics and you know allowing me to also show you guys and showcase what I'm doing this way you could you know gather the strength as well as the courage to start your own indoor grow which is very important because I just love just growing my plants from seed it's really rewarding especially when you're able to grow your own food something that you and your family can, you know, something that you could grow and you and your family could eat. It's, it's, it's magical when you could come down or, or, or wherever this is situated in your home and be able to take some lettuce or, or herbs or whatever it is that you're growing, kale, and be able to bring that up to the table upstairs. And that's one of the things that I really love and enjoy, just watching the development of lettuce. But again, everything has been clean. Let me take you into a closer look. We're gonna dive into my uh, my other tent and I'm gonna let you know what's going on because I previously had multiple tomatoes growing hydroponically indoors. That's no longer the case. I'm also gonna take you through the process. I have a number. I probably have this, so this is, uh, there's nine plants that go each one. So three is 27. Uh, so again, so that's, what is that, 54. I'm probably gonna have 54 lettuce heads in here in the next several days. So after I post this video for Monday morning, uh, in the next, probably in the next several days, before Friday, I'd like to post another video to show you the current progress of where we are in the development phase and start posting again every four to five days to really keep things moving and uh, you know, providing you excellent content, valuable content that will allow you to, again, motivate yourself to get something like this in your house or situated outdoors, however you feel is best for you, especially uh, you know, during this crisis that's still ongoing throughout the world, which is just bizarre. Uh, I hope everybody is staying safe. So, uh, let me take you into a closer look on what we're, what we're looking to do, and then I'll also go through the uh, the process of everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss every aspect of the grow. This is basically a uh, I'm, I'm starting from the beginning of showing people who are not uh, who who lack knowledge or are beginners in the hydroponic space. What is it that you need? What's called what? And how we're, you know, how I germinated the seeds, where I bought the seeds, what are the two different lettuces that I have currently growing upstairs, well actually germinating upstairs, and how I actually placed everything <clears throat> inside the net cups, and what everything is called and how we're gonna turn everything on, all right? So let's dive in. All right, so real quick, from a point of view perspective, I just want to show you guys, again, if you're new, uh, welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell. This way you get notified every single time I upload a video. And every all the links are down below, actually, for everything that I currently use here, from reservoirs to tubing to lighting to fans to, to the shelving to the tents, everything, and the pumps, of course. Don't forget the pumps. Everything that you feel that you might need is all below. And don't forget your timer. That's one of the most important things. You definitely don't want to be coming down and uh, trying to turn on and off your your lighting every single time, which is super important. And we, we could go through that in, in another video. But as you can see here, this is the current setup. We have the pump, we have our tubing lines. Inside the reservoirs, they're actually all ready with water. 
I got my aerator stones inside and we'll get these fired up in just a little bit. This might be a lengthier video than usual just because I'm diving back in and I want to jam pack this video with content for the beginners, especially in this intro phase of, you know, getting from the, you know, how I prepare the rock wool, how we germinate the seed. I'm not going to go through how we're creating reservoirs, but these are all created for anybody that's new to the channel. By the way, all my uh, diehard fans who, who've been with me since day one, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your support on every single video. It's one of the most important aspects of the channel that the people that continuously enjoy watching the channel and the content, they're still with us. These are my additional reservoirs that I have. These three will be going down at the bottom. You might remember in this Mars Hydro, I actually had a... Uh, I actually had a light in here as well as that reservoir and that actually had multiple uh, tomato plants. I actually took a few of those tomato plants outside and they are thriving. Unfortunately, tomato plants are pretty difficult. I think there might be a chance. I, I, gotta, I have to see how they develop fully uh, outside and really pay close attention and then determine if I'll ever do it again indoors. Unfortunately, this space, it was on a whim, but this space is just too small. The light that I had, I just don't love. So that is why I canceled doing the tomatoes. But this is what I have going on right now. So I'll be primarily focusing on this tent here. And it's a high probability, it's a big possibility that in the next several months, three, four, five months before the winter gets going. Actually, I might be biting my tongue here. I really wanted to take everything out of the tent and create a, 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 a two-tier, uh, basically a, a row system where I have this shelving going this way and another shelving system going this way. This way I could truly maximize the yield and have over 100 lettuce heads going at all times. And what that means is basically 27 here, 27 there, and then and a whole new shelving that'll be just parallel to this to this one and it'll allow me to kind of walk in between them so I'll have one to the left one to the right both with um, a lot of lettuce a lot of lettuce and what was yeah no I was right yeah over a hundred because uh, we have 27 27 so yeah cool that's awesome all right listen uh, let me take you guys upstairs and I'm gonna show you what what I'm doing with the rock wool and what I'm doing with some of the uh, the seeds that I'm germinating and we'll go from there all right, so we are in my kitchen now, and this is where I start making the transition from the seeds into this little tray that basically holds the rock wool. And that's this is like, basically I put that dome shape part right over this, and I'm gonna show you guys everything as we get into it. Just right here, here is I have the two variations of lettuce. As you can see here, we have a lot of, a lot of action. A lot of beautiful seeds that are getting transitioned tonight. It's a lot of work transitioning these little guys uh, into the rock wool. Basically, I, what I do is I take this tub right here and I put regular water. You could certainly set the pH level, which is would be nice. Um, in addition, I put my um, I put my special root formula in there to allow better root development. Make sure you hit the links down below for the root for the uh, for the root formula that I use. And I just kind of let it sit for 24 hours. So let me go ahead and transition these into there and we'll keep moving forward. As soon as you have these all lined up in your tray, what I do is I take a chopstick. This is the rock wool cube, okay? For anybody new to hydroponics, you will have to understand this is your growing medium. This is what we call a growing medium in hydroponics. This is basically the dirt to hydroponics as this is obviously there's no dirt in hydroponics. So we use this, it's called a rock wool cube. Okay, it's just a cube just like this basically right from the bottom here after several days maybe a week or two the root system develops and it gets placed into something called a net pod and we'll go through that as we move forward but for right now I wanted to show you this part right here as we transition all of those little germinated seeds and this is how I germinate by the way I, I'm not sure if I touch base real quick but this is how I do it I just basically throw the seeds in here and it's the perfect way. This is exactly how I've been doing it for quite a while and it works perfectly every single time. On this batch right here, I'm having great success. It looks like these seeds are just really, really good from High Mowing. That's the company that I use called High Mowing. These are just organic seeds for lettuce and they're absolutely beautiful. So what I have here is all the rock wools usually, they come with a hole. But what I do is I actually just make this hole a little bigger and I go through each hole with my chopstick and just, you just do that gently. 
and it creates just a larger hole as I transition the seeds. So as you know, what I do here is basically, let me take this longer seed right here. I think you can see it. Now I don't really like to keep them this long when I transition because a lot of times you could break the stem. A lot of annoying things can happen. Today is literally would be the last day that I want to sit and allow these uh, allow these lettuces. As you can see there, this happens frequently. Now I didn't want that to happen and I might actually have to put down the camera on this one but it looks like that seed right there went ahead and broke. And that, that, that can happen frequently. And don't worry about that. What you want to do is I might be basically a day or so, even though I just I just put these in the water. That's why I'm saying they're such good seeds. I just put them into the water for the germination no more than 48 hours, and I'm having incredible success. So as you can see there, I'm not sure how well I can zoom in, but as you can see there, now it's settled in. And literally, once I fill all these, within 24 hours of being under the light and under a... Um, basically a humidity dome. There's a dome shaped piece that goes right over this tray and they sit there in a nice controlled environment collecting good humidity under the light. All of these heads will sprout and they'll all be green within under 24 hours. It's unbelievable. I will start the trend, I will start the video at that point just to show you guys the actual development growth within that short period of time. So let me go ahead and put all the seeds in here and we'll get right to the next step. Now that all the seeds are situated, and let me tell you, that was neck breaking. Sometimes, depending on the delicacy of the seed, it could take a long time. I mean, putting through, putting seeds through these, um, through these, I think, uh, what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. So over, over 30 seeds here. Uh, it, it, it took a lot out of me, okay? It took a lot out of me uh, because the seed heads kept breaking. This method works time to time dep depending on the stem thickness as soon as the seed starts sprouting. Sometimes you could get in some trouble due to the softness of the stem as well as the actual lettuce head. In this case today, it took quite a while to get all the seeds in here. I had a number of seeds that were kind of super wiggly. As soon as they, they would go into the actual uh, Rockwell cube, they would start causing issues. They would break. They were extremely soft and brittle. That was one of the issues. Hopefully, uh, they actually sprout as well. They actually grow and, and taste as great as how fast they sprouted, though not as not as good as they you know how hard it was to actually put them in there. Anyway, let's go ahead and go right into the grow temp. Let me show you how I'm going to set this up for the next 24 hours, and we'll go from there. All right, as you can see here, I have situated all the rock wool, all the seeds inside the rock wool, inside this little dome. All right, inside this dome, it'll start acquiring. Let's just close that at the top here. I don't want any airflow for the next two to three days, maybe even four days sometimes. But this will create a beautiful humidity factor. This dome will be, uh, you know, from the light, from the heat, from the light, as well as from the water that's been soaking in the rock wool. You will see in the next 24 to 48 hours all the different colors varies. It's actually not different colors. They'll probably be all green, though at the end result, from my understanding, one of them is a beautiful green. The other one will be a red. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm really excited. This is a beautiful phase, but just to take a closer look at what they look like as of right now, this is going in uh, minute one as they go under the light inside of the dome. So I will be visiting back uh, with another video in the next couple of days, but this is the intro to part to basically getting everything situated, getting the seeds into the rock wool, and you know we'll move forward with the growing process. But this is just kind of a, be a beginner's guide and showing you how we're progressing and uh, some of the new stuff that we are going to be growing here in the Grow Indoors 365 tent. So thank you so much, guys. See you guys later. See you in the next video. Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. This way you get notified every single time I upload a video. Again, I want to thank you and make sure to stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you here on the next one.